Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, we return on this rooftop, which I'm pretty sure we will end up calling home. We made a pretty nifty way of getting up here, uh, especially for day one. If you guys recall, that disastrous thing happened that cut our last season short. But it may have low key been like a kind of dope blessing in disguise because we have found what is probably the most insane city I have ever seen in my life. This isn't clickbait, this isn't like clickbait, this isn't me saying most insane city ever, dude. It's insane how big it is. Look at all these tall buildings and stuff. Like I get a lot of them are wrecked, but we've got a skyscraper here, which I do plan on looting. Not during the daytime though. Would rather pass on that. I know a nifty way again, a hell of a lot of iron too. Hey, Mr. Crane, remember me? <laughs> Dude, it was probably the crane that crashed my game or something. The crane went crying back to Seven Days to Die like, Mom, Star Snipe blew me up. And then Seven Days to Die is like, oh, we'll get him back for it. Don't you worry. <laughs> but now it's like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Like, got to make the best out of what you got. And right now we got some pretty okay stuff. Oh, a police station. Dude, I haven't seen one of these in forever. What the hell? This is actually kind of dope. I have not seen one of these in forever. Also, uh, when the morning hits, we are definitely going to stop by the, uh, I wonder what kind of thing this is. We're definitely stopping by the outpost because you know what we might be able to cop over there? Well, we might be able to make some juicy sales. A gun store box full of crippling disappointment. <laughs> My favorite type of disappointment. Anyways. Back to what I was saying, we've been picking up some rather high quality items here that'll sell for a pretty penny. I'm keeping the AK barrel, just because that's been a bit harder to, to come across. Same with the shotgun parts, but rocket launcher receiver can go. We got 133 dollars, which I plan on uh, uh, selling. Hey! And a little bit of money we're racking up. And I kind of want to break into here really quickly. Before nighttime hits, when nighttime hits, I'm running back to the other place and hiding. There's actually a really nifty way of getting up there through like garbage dumps and stuff that actually ends up being pretty solid. But, dude, this police station, I kind of want to loot this. I have not seen one of these in so long. I have a- Oh, hello! I have a lot of fond memories of this place besides you guys. We also got this iron reinforced club from some loot, which will hopefully help us uh, knock some things out. Like, you, senor, yeah! Already, dude! We're doing so good. What is this? Part two of our new season. And already we got something as good as the Iron Reinforced Club. Now listen, I know it's not the best in the world, but from our humble beginnings, which sucked. Okay, I'm not like humble is just a nice way of saying our beginnings, which sucked. This is a huge improvement. Look at that. We're like three. Hello, baby. Papa Star likes what Papa see. What the hell do I drop for this? Something's got to go. The hell with the cloth. Hello, pistol ammo. Uh, what else can I drop, man? I don't know. Something's gotta go. It's hell with the glass jars. Hello, shotgun ammo. Okay, I'm panicking. You know what we might end up doing? We still got the wood, right? Yeah, we're gonna go back. Yeah, I'll keep on looting some stuff, though. At least start breaking in. Like, look at this guy's- this guy's trying to help. Like, I'll open the door for you, man. Oh, what the hell? You a mime now? Look at that. Every time I hit him, he becomes a mime. <laughs> I guess that was his calling. That's what he was before he became a zombie. He was a very passionate mime, you know? Anything good in the nightstand? No. And then we got this guy over here we could wake up. See, I hate that- Oh, nice! We got the sneak attack bonus. I just want- Oh, yes! I haven't gotten one of those in a while. Aviator goggles. I will wear those, and I'll come back for the leather duster. Worst case, we could sell that. Best case, we could get a little bit more out of it. There's a safe in there and stuff. I might try to invest into a pickaxe when we go to that trader. But for now, we got a haul booty back home before some of these zombies start running after us because, oh, the running will begin. And I gotta try and get back to safety. Safety is over there by that, like, giant red building. So here's the thing. When it comes to these different places, I don't know... Like, are these buildings worth even checking out? Because they're, they're not, like, named points of interest. They're just kind of like the generic, oh, I'm gonna put a tall building here that was once a really good building and now sucks. You know, it's kind of like a little bit more on the generic side. Whereas here, we got like very unique ones and whatnot, so I don't know. Would love to hear what you gotta say. But, right now, nighttime has come, and with it. Dude, Zoe's salon. I've never been to a salon. Maybe we should visit. See something kind of nifty up there. We still got a couple of those towers we could loot up. They could have some pretty good loot. I'm definitely interested in going to the skyscraper. That might have some pretty good stuff. But in the meantime, I think what we got to concern ourselves with is A, I'm actually going to put on the flashlight just so we can hopefully see a little bit more. Like, we don't have the miner's helmet yet. 
I want to invest in it, trust me, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, we'll start making our secure storage chest. This will be home base for the time being, just because it's relatively safe. Will it be home base for the horde and stuff? Who the hell knows? I, I don't. I mean, I guess we'll figure it out, but uh, hold on. Um, ooh, I'm dropping that torch for a second. Oh, look at that. It falls so neatly. How nice of you, torch. I'm actually going to put that torch up there. Maybe be our beacon if we're ever lost, you know. Panicking in the middle of the night. We could go towards that. I'm thinking maybe we check out that... No, no, no. We're not checking out the skyscraper. We're going to the outpost. We're looting that police station. Because that police station does have the potential for some very good loot. And honestly, you know what I'm going to use my initial points on here? We got 12 points. I'm just going to... Listen. Balls to the wall. Okay, well, actually, first... Can I get a quality Joe? Is quality Joe a thing? No, I think we got to be level 20. I'm just going to go balls deep on scavenging. I... Listen... Interesting strategy, I know, but to hell with it. I want to get the best stuff imaginable, okay? Because right now, a lot of a lot of our leveling up is going to consist of, uh, well, just kind of exploring. We're not really going to be able to do too much amazing building, so I really want to maximize our scavenging as early as possible. Get like a quality Joe and stuff too, so that's my strategy for this season. It might not be the best strategy in the world, but I want to try it out. I want to see how it goes. If you agree with it, okay. If you don't agree with it, okay. We're going to be making a lot of joint decisions here in this season. That's what I love about my series that I love doing with you guys is that a lot of the, a lot of the decisions are ultimately joint. And we do end up making some pretty cool stuff. But in this case, I kind of do want to, I want to see where this goes. Now, we can't put anything in the campfire because we don't have the right tools for it. Unfortunately, uh, I can journey to a settlement. There's a trader actually right about there handily enough so we gotta head there for the quest anyway and that quest i think will give us some free points maybe like hey look at that we got five more points five more levels and whenever we can we're gonna buy quality joe yeah yeah that's gonna that's gonna be a nice boost in loot quality i just want to make sure right now because there's a lot of good buildings to loot here and we're really gonna be focusing right now on the looting aspect like i think maybe for day 14 i'll focus a little bit more on uh because that's, what for, at least for that horde, like day 8 to day 14, I'll focus a bit more on potentially building stuff up. But, but for now, I, I, I like where we are. I like what we're doing. But okay. We got the AK barrel. I'm just going to start putting some stuff away. Whatever we're not selling will go in here. So just handy stuff like the goldenrod and chrysanthemums. Dude. Or chrysanthemums. Yeah, there we go. Pronouncing it right. Just got to really, you know, take your time. Uh, I might sell... No, I'm keeping those first aid kits. Those are going to be pretty handy. I'm just going to keep those on me in case things hit the fan. We are a little bit low in the food department, though, which really sucks. Because, uh, I mean, we got potatoes and stuff, too. But, like, I don't want to eat my potatoes. I want to plant them. We could start a farm pretty early on. But I don't know about that. But, okay, let's just go back, back to the topic of just dropping stuff off. Uh, the reinforced club is not being dropped off. I'm not going to use the shovel anytime soon. It's not even good enough to sell. I'll keep the wrench. We're going to sell the cash. No way I'm getting rid of the shotgun ammo or the pistol ammo. That's a lot that's going to be very useful in a little bit. I'll keep the land claim for now. Put that away. Put that away. I don't need the beer. I'll leave this stuff on us just because we are going to slowly be gathering this as we kind of scrap stuff. So to hell with it, we can have it there. Uh, short iron pipes. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with gathering those up. Uh, we can put the wood there. Casino tokens. Wrench is going to be something useful that we keep around. We can put the blood drop kit away. We could put our new bedroll down. Make sure that we respawn here. And look at that. We got a little bit of a camp set up. Ooh, sorry, I hit my mic there. We got a little bit of a camp set up here on the roof of this place. Hell to the yeah, baby. Hell to the yeah. Bottle of murky water. Could drink that, but there is the whole chance of dysentery, so I'll pass for now. That's why I want a cooking pot, though. I want to be able to start purifying that water. Once we can start purifying, we'll be able to, like, mass produce some of that stuff. And other than that... I think our inventory is looking pretty good in terms of what I want to go to sell and what I want to bring. So for now, looks like it might be a bit of a waiting game for daytime to hit. I think we may have to wait. We're definitely not in a position to get cocky or anything. I don't want to go and do something we might regret a little bit too soon. So for the time being, I'll let you guys know when daytime hits. We'll take things from there, continue our adventure, loot the police station, check out the outpost. Maybe check out some other things, but I like this, dude. This is, this is new buildings that I haven't seen before. Is that another police station? Dude, that looks like... I don't know. That looks like the same type of architecture. Is that another police station? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There might be some good loot to go around, especially if we level up and stuff, but... Okay, I will talk to you guys when we're a little bit closer to morning. 
Make our way down. First stop will be outpost. Potentially uh, see if he has a nice pickaxe or something. Take things from there, sell a couple things, make a little bit of money money. Uh, we might sell the first aid kits, who knows, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, talk to you guys then. Alright, everybody, it's looking like, uh, our favorite thing known as the sun. Looks like he wants to make a little guest appearance in my video. Thank you so much, son. I appreciate that. I never thought I'd be able to get a guest quite as big as yourself. I mean, think about it, the sun's pretty big. <laughs> I don't know why that would have been funny. But it was. So it is! But anyways. Our dude's tummy was starting to grumble right around the night time. So that's a bad sign. That's a sign that we gotta feed ourselves. Cause right now, nothing's happening. We got some eggs and stuff, which will be good if we get some venison. But what is this? This is a fire station! What the hell? We're building on top of a fire station, you say? Well, you got me interested. And there's a salon across the street? I wish it was a saloon. Unfortunately, it's a salon. I think we'll survive though. Ooh, what is that? Is that the place where the bunker is? Is that the bunker inventory? No, I don't think so. What's that over there? It's just like a random apartment complex. There's actually a couple of buildings over here. Hold on. Small detour. Small detour. Oh god, you know what I just remembered? Isn't there that wolf over by the outpost? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that to me. Do not do this to me. What the hell is that? I think it's just the side of a cliff. It looks kind of special. But where have we arrived? Looks like there's a children's playground, a church, a couple of buildings. Okay, well I'm gonna go over here. If there's a cooking pot for sale, listen, if I feel, it feels like I'm going freaking grocery shopping for the first time. Just like, oh, I'll have a cooking pot, uh, seven cups, and a potato. Because I want a potato. No other reason. I just like potatoes. <laughs> oh, no way. Dude, that's a second trader's outpost there, isn't it? It's got the exact same setup. Or no, is that the factory? No. I'm pretty sure that's a second trader's outpost straight that way. Is it? Maybe? I can kind of see it from afar. You guys see those smokestacks? Those are the exact same smokestacks that this place has. So unless I'm going crazy, there might be a second trader really nearby. No, that's, that's in the middle of town. Usually the trader doesn't chill in town. That's not his style. I don't think that's a traitor. I think that is just random smokestacks. Damn it. That could have been good. Okay. Let's regen the stamina a little bit. Our character is not looking to be in the best of- Oh my god, that's horrifying. <laughs> He's not looking to be in the best of shapes, though. You can see his food in the water is definitely dropping. Uh, <laughs> I hope we can find a cooking pot. If not, we might need to go to some drastic measures to ensure our survival. But so far, we've been finding some okay loot. It just so happens that none of it is of the edible variety. And that's the variety that I need in my life right now. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, doesn't this thing not open till like 5 a.m.? Or like 6 a.m.? I don't know, because it just teleported me. I just went through freaking Inception or something. Talk about being bamboozled. Holy hell. Ugh. Can this give me like yucca? Yes, it actually can. Okay, good. Because yucca gives us a little bit of fullness. And we could turn it into yucca juice as well. Did I bring the empty glass jars with me? I did not. I have empty cans, uh, maybe? No, I don't think that's gonna work. Damn. I was about to say, that could have actually worked out. Hello! Why has everyone got so much money? Was this the rich part of town? Dude, we seriously picked the best place. Everyone here is filthy, stinking rich. All right, already huge benefit. Uh, second off, the town is dope. There's just like so many potential awesome things. We picked quite the good place, you know? All right, you need repair. I'm just gonna scrap you instead and make one from scratch. There we go. I'm happy that that wolf has not yet attacked us. Although at the same time, I didn't want to mention it because I always felt like I might jinx myself. I'm definitely the type of person to jinx himself. So I really was not trying to say anything unnecessary. In terms of yucca juice, yeah, we gotta get some glass jars. We could make a couple. <laughs> the stamina of a sexual Tyrannosaurus. My favorite things. T-Rexes, and that. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a Chican! Hello, Chican! Hello, Chican. Are you a dead Chican? No, this Chican is alive. Chican. Can I craft an arrow for the Chican? Oh, yes, I can. Mr. Chican! Hello, Chican. Hello, Chican. Hello, Chican! 
Oh no, it was dead. Oh, that's depressing. For me, at least, I was... I, I thought I was being all sneaky against a dead chicken. Well, at the very least, we could take its meat. A little bit, or some feathers? Can I get a little bit of meat out of this at least game? Okay, we got one venison. That's good news. That means we can make some bacon and eggs if we get the cooking pot. So the cooking pot is the thing that connects it all. Honestly, if this guy has a cooking pot for sale, whenever he decides not to inception me the hell away from his shopping center, I think we might have a little bit of business to discuss. You know what I mean? I think there might be worthwhile things to speak of. In the meantime, though, I'm going to continue collecting that yucca yucca. There we go. And I think we only got about 10 more minutes in game. So it's not going to be long. But it gives us a good opportunity to continue stockpiling this. And then once we get the glass, I think... Uh, ooh, our construction level is leveling up. Uh, I think I might try to buy maybe something to drink from him. And then I'll drink it. And then I'll just keep on using whatever glass jar we get. Uh, to keep filling it up with yucca. Because, like, I could use the yucca for fullness. But honestly, if we have raw meat... Like, I'm not trying to get food poisoning. But if we could buy a cooking pot, too... Honestly, I think that solves our fullness situation, at least for the near future. So, like, it's a bit of a struggle, but I think we're pretty set. And the time has come. The shopping center is open, baby. Let's see what you got for me. Trader Joel. Wasn't that, that, wasn't that dude's name Jimmy inside? Locked? Still? Okay, there we go. Good. Good. I was, I was getting worried, Joel. I, I'm just like, I got kicked out again? Are you serious? I like how he kicks me out to the opposite side of his freaking store. It's like he's got like a spring pad or something. Or like, he's got like teleportation devices. Like a lot of things in Seven Days to Die for a zombie apocalypse do make sense. Until you get teleported by a pissed off Trader Joel. Alright, Trader Joel. My man. My dude. We got some business to discuss. Will I continue my quest by talking to you, or like, what happens? Because I finished that quest, and like, we got some points for it, which is nice. And actually, next time we level up, we'll be able to buy something. Alright, well, go take a crap then, Sonny Jimbo. Uh, I'm gonna sell all of that. Level up in the barter. Like, I don't know, I could have sold that one by one, but I don't think that works anymore. At least that's what someone told me. Maybe I'm crazy. We are leveling up and bartering, though, which is really good. That's about all we had to barter with. Joel, my man, do you have a cooking pot? I know I sound sad by saying this, but I need a cooking pot, my dude. I need it badly. I could buy some meat stew with all my money. That'd be a good investment if we're talking about... Uh, whatchamacall? If we're talking about wellness, but... We ain't talking about that, at least not right now. Yeah, out of what you're showing me, man, I don't know. I wish I could buy that fire axe. Unfortunately, we're not at that... Juncture yet. Okay. Well, I'll just take a little bit of food or maybe even I'll just take a bottled water if you got it All right. Thank now you my man doing business, get out of my store. That's the good thing. I even level up in uh, other stuff by doing that All right, you know what if you want to be such a ding-a-ling to me, I will steal your blueberries. What's up fight me What you gonna do Joel nothing because you never do anything you just sit in there looking all pessimistic and passive-aggressive and stuff Look at all these blueberries. I just hijacked I could just eat those for all of eternity if I wanted to but instead I'm gonna drink that. Step one completed. All right. Why don't we yucca it up, baby? Yeah. I wonder what kind of effects we get from yucca juice. I actually don't know. I have not used it in quite a while. Okay, but let's head on out. Back to town. Resume where we left off. Go finish to that police station. Maybe if we got some time, I want to check out the second police station, because I'm pretty sure there's a second one. But there, there should be some good stuff to loot into there. I wish we had a pickaxe, though. That's the one thing. Like, we actually... Ooh, ooh. What do we need to craft a pickaxe, by the way? We just need forged iron. Hmm. There's already a forge over in Trader Joel's. Honestly, I think it might not be too unrealistic to maybe say, Hey, let's go to Joel's. Let's do that. Worst case. Worst case. We could get a cooking pot out of it. Oh, we need an anvil, though. I don't I don't think this thing has an anvil. Well, I don't think we're making a cooking pot anytime soon, so I sure as hell hope we can find one. That's the only way we're getting our hands on that thing. Hopefully, we can get our hands on a better melee weapon in the police station. Maybe like a dedicated police baton. I don't think that's an actual item in-game, but you know what I mean. Hey, aloe vera. Uh, you know, and some more yucca fruit, too. Dude, the desert low-key 
I don't think this is quite the desert, but you know what I mean? Like, borderline desert? Honestly, it's some pretty solid stuff here. I don't mind. Hello, buddy. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna run from you. I don't feel like dealing with you. I just wanted to see what the hell's up here. Cardboard box. Hey, a paintbrush. I'm about to become a master paintballer. Or, uh, painter. Not paintballer. Two totally different things. <laughs> hey, more feathers. At least we're doing really good in the feather business. Maybe I could, like, give up my life of being a hello human being. And instead, I could become a chicken. I'll just cover myself in feathers and become a chicken. And maybe the zombies will leave me alone. I don't think zombies attack chickens. I think they understand their value to zombie society. Now this cooler, though. Who the hell stores paint in a cooler? I ain't heard of that. All right, hopefully I can juke these guys. I hope they don't follow me to the police station. I might try to lose them behind here. Yeah, why don't we try to lose them through these back streets? Still, still trying to find the boys. Only found the back streets, not the boys. All right. Police station, don't disappoint me. And zombies, don't follow me. Okay? I need you to promise you're not gonna follow me. I got some loot to get through. Quite a bit of it, actually. File cabinet. Eh, just some paper and stuff. I'm looking for the good stuff. We got the leather duster, which we might be able to sell for a pretty penny. I know there's the safe over there. But we just don't have a good way of breaking into the safe, so I'm gonna pass on that for the time being. I'm more focused on, like, immediate stuff we could loot easy-peasy. And, like, for real, we gotta get that forged iron. I think our best bet might be just bringing all of our scrap iron to Trader Joel's and building a pickaxe. It's gonna suck, though, because all the stuff's gonna take forever to break into, but... Uh, before we do that, too, I should probably invest in higher quality buildings so we could at least build a higher quality pickaxe. I think I might have to do that before we actually head on over to do my strategy at Joel's. Although, I think we can make a... Honestly, I think we can make our own forge... Pretty easily. I don't think we're missing that much. Oh, no, we need the leather, don't we? Yeah, I don't have too much leather on me at the moment. So, uh, we might just stick to Trader Joel's. He might be the key to our success or something along those lines. Hey, antibiotics. Mazeltov. More unfiltered water. We gotta get that stuff filtered. We got the upstairs. We got wherever the hell that leads to. Isn't there a kitchen back there? See, I think there is. I know there's more classrooms here because it's like a police academy. Okay, this is good. Waking up the zombies is always a good sign, because that means they help work for us. <laughs> it might seem a counterintuitive, but if you hear that, as scary of a noise and loud of a noise as it is, it's a good sign, because that means the zombies are breaking something in between you and the zombie, which means more stuff for you to loot. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm quite a big fan of the whole looting stuff shindig. Rotting trash? Rotting trash low-key, we just got four duct tape. Loki, it can have some pretty solid stuff sometimes. Hey! Better flashlight. Maybe I could sell the better one. Not really, it's still pretty crappy. Okay, where are you at, zombie? Are you on the second floor? It has to be. Hmm. Here's the thing. I think the wrench might be good at breaking metal. So once we break through this initial layer, we might switch on over to the wrench and see if it does a good job. And then maybe we could even collect a little more scrap iron. Are my suspicions correct? Nope! Definitely not. We gotta break through this manually. Oh crap. I need another stone axe. Are you serious? I don't even have enough stuff to do it. I need more stones. Ah crap. Let's go get some stones really quickly. At least those weirdos didn't follow me. Freaking dinguses. Uh, we can get some stones out of this, right? Yeah, we can. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Crap. It's barely not enough. I gotta use my wrench a little bit. That's not gonna work. All right. I need to go find a rock on the ground. An epic quest undertaken by an epic man. Star Snipe has found his rock. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm pretty sure I could have scrapped it and gotten like, yeah, three rocks out of it. I get most of the rocks back from just hitting it. Uh, I'm going to hit this though, so we're probably going to break this quite a little bit. It's probably a good idea to have a couple of these stones on a backup duty. Ready to roll, ready to go. Dude, I love this place. There's gonna be so much for us to loot. I am hype. If you guys haven't noticed, if there's one thing that hypes me up, it's loot. I was trying to get like a good angle of this police station. Look how awesome it looks. You know what isn't awesome? The cacti on the way. Other than that, it is pretty dope. I'm gonna break you, cacti. Get out of here. Hydrate me. Give me plant fibers and your yucca. I got three yucca out of that one. God damn. I wish I could plant cacti. I don't think you can. I know you can plant yucca fruit like that, but I don't think cacti... On the smorgasbord 
of plantables. Look at that beautiful view. So we're almost about halfway done looting this place, but I think the good stuff is all on the second floor. We still have a little bit here to go on the first. Wait, hold on. Can I just... Yeah, why, did, why am I breaking through the doorways? I forgot about this, dude. It's been a while, okay? I forgot you can break through the side doorways hella faster because they're all made out of wood. My god. What is wrong with me? I am a dingus. Certified. Three more hits. Oh, no. My thing started doing barely less damage. What is this? Yeah, this is the kitchen I was talking about. Awesome. And then we can get over there into that back street. Lockers sometimes have pretty good stuff. I will wear that cowboy hat, my man. That thing is way cooler. Yeah, no press boy hats for me. Although I might scrap them. I might be in need of cloth here early on. All right, kitchen. Give me a cooking pot, please. I would love you forever if you could supply me with that which I seek. Also, low-key, we just got some water. I think that's the first kitchen I've ever had that's had water in it. Hey, some pasta, mamma mia. I got the pasta. Lisa makes the star a happy. Yes. Hey, I'm even slowly regaining some food. Who the hell just murdered the wind? Entirely just stopped. It was so windy. Dead quiet. Out of nowhere. Oh, is that where the zombie is? I see very creepy movement. And the wind's starting to pick up again. This is like straight out of a horror movie, man. I don't know how to feel about this. Yo, what's up, dude? I see you. What, who are you trying to fool? Freaking ex-convict out there. Yeah, start breaking through. Save me. I Save me the effort. You do the breaking, and then I'll knock you out when you get your way into here. Any more? Oh my god! Oh, we got paint. Who the hell is keeping paint in these cabinets? Yes! Chicken rations. Okay. I think you need some help there, senor. You seem to be struggling. Listen, I'm a good dude. I'll help you out as good as I can. Hey, buddy. Dude, this is definitely a nice convict. Look at him. All, like, grizzled and, and swole, and he was totally in the back of a police station when the zombie apocalypse hit. I'm sorry, dude. This is definitely a convict if I've ever seen one. Oh, no. Get your head out of those shelves. I need those shelves for organizing. And your head for hitting. Yeah, like that. Oh, my God. How is your head still intact, my man? Probably because I'm very exhausted. I think that's exactly why. Uh, the only struggles of early game. Early game might have a lot of fun opportunities inside of it, but the one struggle is hitting these guys in the face. Well, at least his face hit the countertop afterwards. 60% chance of food poisoning. We might be desperate enough for that. Also, the good news is I don't think food poisoning stacks, so if we ever want to, if we're ever desperate enough, man. Also, I love this. Look at that. Boop. We can close that, dude. The police station would be awesome if we were like a role-playing server or something. It would honestly be pretty dope. Now, are these things even worth looting? Is there anything good here? I'm not- Don't give me crap, game! What have I ever done to deserve your crap? Yeah, I think it's literally just, uh, just toilets. Just toilets, nothing worthwhile. Alright, let's fandangle our way back up. I got the second floor to get through. And I really want to see what the hell awaits us up here. A uh, broken window that we could jump out of should we get desperate. Might very well happen. <gasps> are these leather couches? Hold up. Hold up. Hello there, pretty. Uh, can I get some arrows crafted up? Yes, I can. Why don't I get five of those buggers going? Scrap the rest of those. Scrap some of those. Scrap some of those. And you know what? We could start eating up. I'll eat up this one corn that I have. I was craving some corn, okay? Don't judge on me. Now then. My precious. I wish I could aim this thing a little bit better. It's not like the compound bow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's not like the compound bow, you know? What is that? A junk place back there. I have not seen one of those in a while either. Especially labeled junk. So many cool places here. That radio tower too. Actually, I think I may have seen that before. I think there's an underground segment to that. I'm, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Hey, we could char some meat at a campfire. I mean, it's, it's not, it wouldn't be as good as like cooking it into bacon and eggs, but I think we could char it. We don't even need like a cooking pot to do that, but okay, what I was saying here. Check this out. We get leather out of this. This is the awesome thing about the police station. This is giving us the leather we need for a lot of things. Mainly, though, you know what we're gonna get out of this leather? Is a little something known as a forge, so we don't have to go all the way to Joel's to get that stuff figured out. Instead, we could just, you know, figure it out back at home, which honestly is the best place to do it. Although that is a temporary home, like I said. As soon as I get my hands on the right materials, hopefully I can find a cement mixer somewhere around here. 
That's probably what I'd use my land claim block on. Maybe the workbench? See, I don't- can I pick up a land claim block after I craft it? I have no clue. If I can, I would totally craft multiple of those things. But if not, who the hell knows? Now, okay, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure that there is a gun safe here. There's also a friendly, unfriendly neighborhood cheerleader. What's a cheerleader doing in a police station? Oh, hello. Look at that. Oh my god. That's a lot more people than I expected. Uh, hey. Yeah, go, go walk that way. I, I, I want to say hello to my cheerleading friend. Great job at the game yesterday. Good job, zombie cheerleader. You did good. You made you made Papa Star proud. Disturbed tourists, keep keep walking that way. Ain't nothing that you want to see here. Ain't nothing. Oh, there's something that I want to see though. This is something that Papa Star would love to see. A munitions box. Hmm. It's one of the happiest sights in the world. Every time I see one of these, I just imagine it wrapped up in a pretty ribbon like it's Christmas because that's all that I can think of when I see it. Hold on. Did I invest in quality Joe yet? I did not. Let's do exactly that. And let's keep on going up into scavenging a little bit. I want this to be as good as possible. Whatever loot we're about to get out of this, I don't like wasted 10 seconds of our lives. Oh no. Listen, given the fact that we just improved whatever we got here by like 30 or 40 points, that's a pretty big deal. That might not seem like a lot, but especially at this low level, every point counts and we just got ammunition. It's good ammunition, but it's, it's not what I was looking for. More sham sandwiches, dude. We're about to get so much food poisoning. We're gonna have enough food poisoning to share with the rest of the world. Uh, I don't think there's a gun safe in there. Not really anything good. I think the gun safe's in one of these rooms. I don't even remember at this point. This is just some kind of like cheeky back room that has a couple of things. Let's break into it. I hear a lot of footsteps outside. That's no bueno. Oh no, this thing's about to break. Oh no! Really? You had to tease me with that one last hit. There's a suitcase here though. Yeah, I didn't expect anything good out of that. I just thought maybe... Where did that disturbed tourist go, by the way? Did that dude, like, go off to Hawaii? I think he jumped out the window. And it's the only explanation I could come up with. He definitely had to have jumped out the window. <laughs> Alright, man. Listen, I ain't judging. You do you. Uh, now, onto the topic of better things. Let's get that thing crafting up. Let's scrap this one. Doesn't this level up our crafting at all? Does, cr does literally crafting things no longer level that up? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm mistaken. Although, it felt like this one's doing like, okay, we're doing like 25 damage a pop now. Seriously, full quality stone axes, they matter. They make a difference. Now then, there's gonna be a, oh, hazmat dude. Hello, hazmat dude. How are you doing here? How do you survive that? I get that you're a little bit tougher, but come on. You don't have any actual like physical armor. Where are you wandering to? You trying to pick up something from the cooler? Yeah, you're not picking nothing up right now. I would love some hazmat gear out of you, by the way. Mind giving me a little bit of that? Maybe a pistol out of these lockers? No? Some really cool shades, though. I'll wear those. Aviator goggles? I'll scrap those. I hear them somewhere, man. Alright. We got the gun safe? I might spend the time to break into this. Sweet mama, maybe not. We do 10 per hit. As much as I would love to break into that gun safe, that is going to be so much of our time. We got to at least come back with a pickaxe, I think. I don't think it's worth it right now. I just... I don't know. I do think... Isn't there a munitions box over here, though? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, there should be one more munitions box for us before we call it an episode. And I'd be happy with that. Maybe I am mistaken. Who the hell knows at this point? Alright, yeah. The disturbed tourist definitely jumped out the window or over the railing or something. I just saw him... I saw him peeking about. Wait, is there- is there not? Oh, really? There definitely used to be munitions boxes in this room. Well, what the hell? Is there at least like a gun store box? You telling me a police station doesn't have a gun store box? Come on. Who are you trying to fool? Well, we got most of what's in this police station. This might be a good time for us to dip out. I'd love to do some parkour over there. Unfortunately, I don't have Michael Jordan hops, so no way I'm making that type of a jump. Let's get on out of here. Police station's complete for now. Just because breaking into that safe would be a very painstaking process. But, considering the amount of leather we got, uh, a forge should be very close. Even something that we could potentially still craft today. We just gotta wait for the bellows, get the forge. 
Start smelting a lot of that scrap iron. We could get forge iron going really early. Day two, already have forge iron? Honestly, that'd be a pretty good start in my opinion. But okay, we're gonna run back. And I wanna see if that store is what I thought it was. And actually, maybe, what the hell is this? And why is the second floor blocked off? Interessante, senor. Papa star is no pantalones and he wants to see what's going on. My pantaloons are coming off, man. Yeah, that's when you know things are getting serious. Okay, we got a sleepy dude. Keep napping, my man. Don't let me disturb you. I'm just over here to steal your stuff. I don't really get what the point of this place was. There is a purse, though. Ooh. Purses are promising. Alright, promisingly empty. That's all that they are. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, was that? Oh, no, that's just some wood. I thought that might have been like a body. I'm just like, ew. No, it's not a body. What the hell is this? I know this is a store. This isn't a generic one, though. Although it looks slightly generic. What kind of a store are we dealing with here? Ah, I don't even know. I kind of want to break into it really quickly to at least see what we're dealing with. I'm not going to enter the looting phase. But I do want to see what there is for us. For us to come back. Ooh, there's boxes. Ooh, I like boxes. Ooh, I like that even more. Uh, to hell with the... Uh, we gotta give something up. Ah! I thought I saw movement. Oh god. I, I didn't choose to believe it though. Hold on. You know what I could do is I could start crafting the forge. No, I can't. We need clay. Oh crap, we need clay. Hold on. What did I just- did I drop that? It is, okay, I'll come back for you, Glue. Don't worry. I love you with the passion, but I also love really good reinforced iron clubs. And right now, that's exactly what I'm investing into. I'm sorry. I'll reinvest into your stock soon, Glue. But for now, the Iron Reinforced Club stock is soaring. Other than that, though, this is a good time for us to make a pit stop over by our fire station base. We've yet to loot the fire station. Don't even worry about that. I am definitely looting this. Because think about it. Fire station, fire axe, fire axe station. Like, listen, I'm no mathematician here. But I think we might get a fire axe. Also, what is that giant red tower? Is that a factory over there? I don't know. I do know that there's some very angry zombies below us doing the work of breaking it. Where the hell did you come from? What? Right, you're not dead, are you? You're definitely still alive, my dude. Yep. What the hell? I put my sleeping bag down and you're already moving in, you little bum. Anyone else trying to take up residence here? Damn right you're not. But other than that, we're gonna drop some goodies off, potentially get some stuff rolling, and uh, dude, we're, we're getting some pretty okay stuff. This is a good point for us to end off on, count our loot, put our things together, all that jazz. But other than that, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Episode's a fan for fantastic day. Cannot wait to return. See what happens next episode. Like I said, I'm thinking we'll probably, we might loot the fire station. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see me do. Definitely let me know that. Because we got a lot of options right now. You guys have seen some of the buildings there are to do. You've seen some of the things that we could personally focus on. I kind of want to see what that red tower is. But I don't know. We got options. And we'll go ahead and play with those options. But for now, it's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all the time for watching. This was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.